Hi everyone, my name is Adam Carmi and I'm the co-founder and CEO of AppliTools and in this short video I'll show you how to uh, set up and work with the AppliTools Jenkins plugin. Um, for the purpose of this demonstration I'll be running um, Selenium tests using the C Sharp Selenium and uh, the C Sharp IS SDK and um, but the same principles will work for all other test frameworks and all the other all the other ISDKs. Um, in this case, you can see we have a GitHub test class, which is marked as a test fixture, meaning that it contains tests in any unit. And uh, if we look at the eyes uh, um, object setup, you can see that all the tests are actually patched together in a single batch, uh, which name is either taken from an environment variable called job name which is set by Jenkins when the test is run by Jenkins and if it is run standalone then uh, it falls back to the name responsive. If we go back to Jenkins we have our project that is called My Visual Tests and if you look at the configuration it's, it is a straightforward configuration for running uh, any unit tests. Uh, we have uh, a build a build step that actually runs an unit and points to the DLL containing our tests and outputs the uh, result into an any unit result XML and we also have an any unit plugin that uh, collects this XML and uh, adds it uh, uh, to the uh, Jenkins build report. Very straightforward. Now, if we look at the result of this setup, when I'm running my test using Jenkins, uh, I have the NUnit plugin that has added this test result entry. Uh, I can drill down, I can look at the specific results, and when I have a failure, the eyes SDK uh, throws an exception, which is captured in the NUnit report, and it tells us there is a, that there, there is a failed test. Um, tells us the name of the test and the application and also has a link that allows you us to jump directly into the AppliTools um, uh, test results where we can find the exact point of failure uh, we can use the radar to find it out zoom into it toggle between the baseline image or view it side by side we can of course also accept or reject this change and update our baseline uh, if we click back at this point, we go back to the AppliTools test manager with the uh, batch uh, that contains uh, all the other tests uh, selected, where we can see and visit the other tests. Uh, this is a very nice uh, straightforward integration, but it has some drawbacks, especially if you're running a lot of tests, and if you have a hundred of these, it's not very convenient to go into one by one with all those clicks to get to the results. Let's proceed to set up the AppliTools Eyes plugin that will allow us to easily view and maintain all the tests related to a Jenkins job directly from the Jenkins build report. So the first step is to go back to Jenkins and click Manage Jenkins, Manage Plugins, look at the available plugins and search for the AppliTools Eyes plugin. We can click so it would be installed and click install without restart. After we've done that we can go back to our project, go back to the configuration, and then inside our, um, our build environment we need to check the AppliTools support now if you're running against the public cloud and most users do then you simply leave the URL as is but if you're using your own dedicated cloud simply change this URL to reflect that cloud I'll be using the demo cloud with that we're done uh, configuring um, Jenkins all that needs to be done now is to uh, link the AppliTools uh, batch to the actual job or build that is being run so the way that we do it is that uh, once we have the plugin installed there is a new uh, environment uh, variable defined by Jenkins that is called AppliTools Batch ID and we set it as the ID of the batch. So we'll go to environment 
get environment variable Hartley tools patch ID and we're basically done if we go back to our uh, project and ask it to we just need to of course build our tests and let's let's run this job okay so our test has started immediately when we go into the um, build right now you can see that directly inside the report we have um, the eyes test manager showing us the current status of the build we can see that we have a test running we can click the refresh button here to see the progress as uh, more tests are running and completing we can see that this test has failed and the second test and we are done now directly within the uh, Jenkins uh, build report we can see the eyes test manager showing us the tests that are specific to this um, specific build run we can uh, look at the test we can uh, uh, highlight and delete them, select and delete them. We can uh, drill down into them uh, just like we did before. Uh, we can change to, to see just the uh, uh, over, overview of the gallery of uh, steps. Uh, we can uh, of course filter those steps um, to show only, only mismatches. We can group those differences together so we only see unique ones we can uh, zoom into those changes and of course accept or reject them and save the batches and do all the maintenance that we need directly from the um, Jenkins build report so that's it for now and for more information you can uh, see the uh, Jenkins plugin wiki